guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to come across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who don't know, and today's video is going to be another tag video. And as you can see, as the title says, it's going to be the Thanksgiving book tag. And I did this tag on my book channel, which I'll leave the card above if you click out click on sorry but I saw this tag and I thought it would be fun to do it on this channel as well I had a bit of a struggle doing it on my book channel just because I have several thousand books um so I figured I would do it on this channel as well and of course I tag my sister because I know she has a bookshelf but I tag any of you ladies who has a bookshelf Anybody that has a bookshelf, anybody that has books whether you have a booktube channel whether you have a youtube channel whether you have an instagram or blog I tag you to do it okay everybody but, um, yeah, so there are 10 questions for this tag. I originally saw this over on Bookable channel, which her name is Heather. I'll leave her video down below in the original tag creator's video. Um, their name is Fangirl City, I believe, but they don't make videos anymore. However, but there are 10 questions to this, all related to Thanksgiving, and I have fun doing this. So, the first one is Bread. What book is purely fluff and has no real plot line? This one, I'm going to cheat a little bit because no none of the christian fiction or biblical fiction i have is like fluffy they all have real plot lines so i'm gonna go with the middle grade for me and that's gonna be arcade and the triple t coin by rashad jennings this is the first book in the coin slot chronicle excuse me um i still need to get my hand on a sequel but this is just middle grade which is why i'm going with it there's th that that's all question number two is turkey what book made you want to fall asleep <sighs> made me want to fall asleep mm -mm -mm. You know what? I know what I'm going to go with because I was going to pick another book. However, I don't want to pick that book since I'm picking it for a different question. So, this might be a little bit biased. Um, I did read this book. I think I gave it a four or three and a half. Um, it's from one of my favorite authors. But this book really did make me want to fall asleep sometimes. And that is going to be Thief of Corinth by Tessa Abshar. I've read this book maybe two or three times now. I... <laughs> I love Ardenay as a character. I love that this has Paul in it, but there was something about this book, the way it flowed. I just, compared to her other books, it just didn't click with me. Um, I think I gave it a four stars, actually. Um, and then I, I, I read this book two or three times already, so yeah, we're we going to go with this book, this, this one right here. All right, so question number three is Gravy. What book makes the whole series worth reading? <laughs> Listen. I, we finished this earlier, me and my sister Stephanie. A Royal Father by Linda Ferguson. Just, yes please. This is book three in the Lion and the Butterfly trilogy. And this book is the third and final book. And it makes the whole series worth reading because the way it ends is amazing. The romance ends on a perfect note. The family situations end on a perfect note. Certain people die. Some people you are excited died. Some people you are sad died. It just makes the whole series worth it. Now, Keep in mind, I gave all, all three books five stars, but this one, like, completes everything. Completes everything. A reading vlog will be coming for this soon. Actually, this weekend, the reading vlog should be up for this, so, yeah. All right, so, Stuffing is number four. So, four is Stuffing. What book is stuffed full of action scenes? I'm going to go with another book I really recently just finished, and that's going to be The End of the Magi by Patrick W. Carr. This book has a lot of action scenes because it is a journey-based book about the Magi, and um, it's really good. It takes place in the desert, lots of fighting scenes, lots of just comical drama that happens, so I'm going with this one. I could even go with this one, which is The Piper's Pursuit by Melody Dickerson. Literally just finished reading this. Um, This book comes out December 3rd. Uh, Yeah. But I could go with this one as well. I really, really enjoyed the action in this because you really get to see how much strength Katrina has. Um, she's a very strong person. Stefan is involved in this. Stefan is the brother of Wolfgang, who is mentioned in the ninth book, which is The Warrior Maiden, which is the Mulan retelling. This is a reimagining of the Pied Piper. Lots of action, lots of fight scenes. So I can go with either one of those books. Moving on to question number five, which is mashed potatoes. What book... Yeah, what book looked good then wasn't? First of all, mashed potatoes are delicious, okay? But I get what you're saying. Some people don't like mashed potatoes. Um, But I'm going to go with this, The Words Between Us by Aaron Bartels. This book looks really pretty. Like, it's a really pretty book. I love the book covers. Like, the book feel of it on the spine as well. Like, the books is just everything. But 
I played this book three stars, three and a half. I can't remember. I just, mm -mm, no, it just, I didn't get it. Um, I am going to reread it to see maybe if I was just not in the right mindset when I read it. But if I don't like it the second time around, this book will be given away. Um, it just, it didn't really do anything for me. It was annoying. I did like the mention of other books, which is why I got it, because it was a book about books. But the main character just irritated me. She she was annoying. She she was annoying. <laughs> so, yeah. Number six is Cranberries. What book has the sweetest romance? I'm cheating here because I'm going out with several. So the first one is going to be A Royal Father by Linda Ferguson, which is book three in the Lion and the Butterfly series. Um, Antonius and Jerusha. I thought Timon and Jerusha was cute, but Antonius and Jerusha? Yeah, it's cute. And then we have Pearl in the Sand by Tessa Afshar. Um, do I have to talk about Rahab and Simone? <laughs> cute. They're a little angsty, but they do have, like, such a sweet romance. Love it. Um, then we have Harvest of Rubies by Tessa Afshar. Again, another cute romance between Sarah and Darius. Sweetest romance ever. I love it. Then we have some Connie Lincoln set books. So we have Counted with the Stars, which is book one in the Out from Egypt. This book, oh my god, Ia, Ia, Kia and Eben together, they're just, like, cute cute okay and then we have <laughs> wings uh, wings of the wind yeah wings of the wind which is book three also by kindly Lincoln said and this one has alana and tobiah and they were so freaking sweet together like it goes it has a fake marriage trope in it so gorgeous um and then lastly we have a light on the hill by kindly link said derek and mariah uh, the whole series honestly the whole cities of refuge series derek and mariah so question number seven Corn. What's the corniest book you've ever read? Um, I don't think I've ever read a corny book that was biblical fiction related, Christian fiction related, so I'm not going to answer that. Um, number eight is Green Beans. What book is too long and needs to be shortened? I think I'm going to go with this book, though I love this book so much. I really do love it, but... I don't think it needed to be as long as it was. This book is a total of 508 pages. The Road by Lloyd T. Douglas. Can you please explain to me why this book is so damn long? Like, why? It was good. Don't get me wrong. I gave it five stars, tapped it up. But it didn't need to be this long. Like, it really didn't. I get it. Um, You really was able to go on the journey with Marcellus. And, oh my god, what is his... Demetrius? I think that's his name. Yeah, Demetrius, you, went, you was able to travel with Marcellus and Demetrius and really get inside their heads. But 508 pages, I mean, you could have did this in 300. I'm just saying, like, 300 was enough. But 508 killed me. <laughs> but I loved it. Okay, so um, then we're moving on to, what is that? Question number nine. What book do you read to get out of a reading slump? Um, I'm cheating again because this is literally my favorite book. So I'm going with one of these three books. They're all my favorites. Um, Pearl in the Sand, obviously, by Tessa Afshar, just because it has a soft spot to my, in my heart and it really just helps me a lot. So I love this book. Um, if I'm in a reading slump and I really just want to have something to make me laugh, Tessa Afshar, Harvest of Rubies. The duology is everything. It's comical. It's one of her most comical series that she has. So books that she has. So that one. Um, or we go with A Light on the Hill because we love Derek and Mariah. Like Derek and Mariah always bring me out of a reading slump when I can't figure out what to read. So that's that. And then the last question is question number ten: Dog and cat. I mean dog or dog or cat. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food that you would steal from the table? Now. Macaron baked macaroni and cheese with jumbo shrimp. I would steal the whole pan. Like, we're not sharing. You can't have none. You better have a second pan backed up somewhere because you ain't getting that. Now, dessert-wise, because I got to throw dessert in there, I'm stealing some pumpkin pie and some banana pudding. Don't have banana pudding. Don't have no pumpkin pie. And do not, I tell you, do not have a pan of baked macaroni with jumbo shrimp. Because you won't find it. I'm taking everything and I'm going home. Um, that's literally what I'm really, like, looking forward to most for Thanksgiving is sweet potato pie and, um, some, some banana pudding. And obviously Snickers ice cream. But that is it for this video. I tag, like I said, all of you lovely ladies that are watching this video, whether you have Instagram, BookTube, YouTube, Facebook, whatever you have, I tag you. Um, Steph, do this tag. I would love to see your answers. Um, but yeah, that is it. Um... Yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next...
video oh thursday's video should be my sermon writing vlog and then i will upload my actual sermon hopefully friday because saturday i have a reading vlog for you guys so that's hopefully the plan but we'll see but other than that that is it if you're not subscribed subscribe to the channel and if you are click the bell to stay notified and i'll see you guys in the next video bye